FFmpeg is a very useful open source file converter available on Windows, macOS, and Linux. You don't have to upload your personal files to some random website and risk your privacy by using FFmpeg instead. You can do more than just file converting like screen recording, but I'm only going to cover file conversion in this video. I'll leave a link to the video I saw how to screen record it with FFmpeg in the description. This program is also useful to set video and audio codecs. Anyways, the way you install this is very simple on Linux. All you need to do is use your package manager. So for me, it's just sudo apt install ffmpeg. You can search up what it is for your distribution, but for Debian and Ubuntu based distributions, this is the command. On macOS, you're going to want to install Homebrew. Homebrew is another package manager, but for macOS. It's like apt and dnf, and there's more, but you get the point. With Homebrew, you can install a bunch of other applications. That's what a package manager is for. So if you want to install it, go to brew.sh, that's the website name, and then copy this command. Then you can go ahead and paste it in the terminal, and then let it run. It's a really simple install process, and you don't really have to do anything. After it installs, it might tell you to run a command or two. If you don't run it, it might not work, so just go ahead and read everything that it says after it's done installing. Then after homebrew is installed, it's as simple as Linux, all you need to do is type brew, install, and then ffmpeg. Then ffmpeg will install to your system. On Windows, go to ffmpeg.org and then click on the green download button. Then click on the Windows icon, and then click on Windows Builds by BTBN. It should take you to a GitHub page. Then scroll down and skip all these Linux files, and then click on the one that says Windows without the shared at the end. It should just be a zip file. After it's downloaded, click on it and it should automatically extract. And then go into this main folder. And then go into the bin folder and then copy ffmpeg.exe to your desktop. Then go to the address bar and paste this location in. After that, click enter. Or you could just click Windows R and then paste this in and click OK and then it should also take you to the same folder. This folder is a part of the Windows path variables. So any file that you put in here, it will be accessible throughout the whole Windows system. So if you type Python in the command line, it should let you use Python anywhere. So what we're going to do is paste the ffmpeg file in here and then you should be able to access it from anywhere. So to normally convert files with ffmpeg, all you need to do is open up a command prompt and then go to the directory of where the files are. For me, it's just on my desktop. Now to start, first type ffmpeg and then we're going to type dash i to specify an input. This is the file we want to convert. So for me, I'm first going to do the picture that I have. It's just called profile.png. Then click space and then you can make a new file name or you can keep it the same. But the file extension, change it to whatever file you want to convert it to. So I'm going to just make it a JPEG. If you want to save it to another location, you can do that. You can just put the location right behind it. Like if I do this, it would be in the root folder. But if I do something like this, it'll just save to my home directory. But I just want to keep it in the same directory I'm in right now. So I'm just going to leave this as profile.jpg. Now the picture I have is transparent. So when I convert it to a JPEG, the transparency will go away. Just keep that in mind. And now it has successfully converted it. You can see on the desktop there's a new file. And with the video it's basically the same thing. Just type ffmpeg dash i, which is the input. Then I'm going to put outro.mov. This is just my outro for my YouTube videos. And then I'll make this a mp4 file. Then click enter. And videos will take a little longer, but it is still pretty quick. Now it's done. Let me just try clicking on this and see if it works. And that is the simplest way to convert files with ffmpeg. If you want to see all the formats that are supported, you can go ahead and type ffmpeg and then dash formats. Then it'll give you a list of all of the formats that are available and you can convert to and convert from. Now if you scroll near to the top, you should see something like this with file formats. The first column will give you a little information about what is supported. I really don't know what this means, but it could be useful to some people. And then the second column will tell you which uh, file format it is. It's in alphabetical order. So here there's AAC, which is the most popular audio codec, I'm pretty sure. 
and in this column it'll give you a little more information about the format and it'll tell you what it stands for or what it's used for. So if you want to know if a format is supported you can just look through this. If you're on Linux you can also just type ffmpeg-formats and then you can pipe that into grep and then type the name of the format and then it'll search for that format. So over here it found mp4 and it tells me a little more information. If you want to see all the codecs available, you could do the same thing, but just type dash codecs at the end. And then it'll tell you all the supported codecs. And like I said before, the first column will show you if any of these are supported. And the second column will tell you the codec name. And then the third column will give you a little more information about it. If you want to convert a file's codec because maybe it's not supported, what you can do is use the ffmpeg command and then use dash i for input again and then we're gonna use this outro.mp4 file and maybe the codec this file is using is not supported by one device so if you want to change the codec you could type dash v codec space and then type the name of the codec which you want to use the most popular one or the most supported is libx264 i'm pretty sure this is supported on most devices, so you won't really have to worry about unsupported devices. Then for audio codecs, you can also just do a codec, dash a codec. And then the most popular one again, the most supported is AAC, I'm pretty sure. Then after all of your options, then you can type the name of the file. I'm just going to name it something different this time, so we know which one's which. And now it will convert it to the H.264 video codec. So that is how you use FFmpeg to convert basically any file on your computer without going to some random website. Anyways, if this worked for you, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.